Hi Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your weekly reading using the Secret Language of Light Oracle deck. Haven't used it for a while, it has some absolutely wonderful imagery in this deck so I will be pulling out three messages, um, going into it quite intuitively um, and hopefully there will be something that will come up that might be helpful for you in the upcoming week. So um, these will be general. If you were after a private reading, all the information that you require is listed below this video. Otherwise, I do want to thank you for being here, for joining, um, viewing the channel, etc. Uh, don't forget to leave behind a like if you'd like to continue to see your weekly readings on my channel. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. So let's get straight into it. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on for the gems in the upcoming week? Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, the first card you have is ask your soul. Some major questions that you'll be asking yourself, okay? It could be in relation to life purpose, life journey. Um, you do have the number 16, which makes seven, and that's all about mysticism, possibly some sort of spiritual awakening, um, introspection, looking within, gaining wisdom, trying to pursue the truth of something or the meaning of something that is around you. So you're, you're really asking yourself, what is your purpose here, okay? Why am I in this relationship? Why have I chosen to do what I have done? Um, what has taken me to the point where I am now? You know, there's, it's quite a major, um, it's, it's quite philosophical questions that you'll pose to yourself in the upcoming week. There could be a series of events that make you ask these questions. Now, this could also be reversed and there might be someone important around you, a parent, a sibling, a lover, a friend, who may ask you these major questions. It's putting things into perspe um, perspective. Because asking your soul is, do, do I align with the goals I have in my life? Do I align? Am I feeling fulfilled doing what I'm doing? Am I feeling like I'm contributing to my life or to other people's life? Or am I helping them? Am I hindering them? It's really asking those major questions here, Gemini. And sometimes we don't like to be, um, we don't like to get too deep. We certainly are very, um, very avid thinkers. There's no doubt about that, Gemini. We do have a very witty and agile mind. Um, but sometimes we don't like to get too deep or too philosophical, but things could slow down a little bit in the upcoming week and you may find yourself taking a different approach to life's big questions. It might be the relationship that you're in. Um, it might be the career you have. It might be the career you're thinking about having. It might be the travel you're wanting to pursue. I might be planning for children or how to raise children. You know, these are major questions in our lives. And this is something that you'll be asking yourself. Okay, big questions happening here. Could definitely be in regards to a love connection here as well. Okay, trying to find depth or understanding what a connection is all about. What it's there to offer you. Um or how it is here to help you. Okay, I was just about to say help you on your journey and soul journey came out. Very much a card of spiritual enlightenment. What I'm seeing here is that you're soon entering a cycle here, um, Gemini. Congratulations. You have the number nine and that's all about fulfillment, okay? Finally being enlightened, finally having enough wisdom to move on to the next phase of your life. This is all about the, the, the higher consciousness. And it almost looks like a stairway to heaven here, Gemini. The, there's divine intervention happening for you. I feel like you might be guided from someone, okay, someone that has passed around you maybe. Um, you might be guided by your God, by your spirit angels, um, by the universe. Um, you know, whatever it is that you want to believe in, there's absolutely no right or wrong. But there's a higher power, a very divine power that's guiding you. It's, it's enlightenment. This is leveling up, Gemini. Um, it's very powerful and it does speak of mysticism. You know, it's all about the nine is having that bird's eye view. And my, the view from the top is, is pretty, you know, looks pretty dandy here, Gemini. So look, there is a lot of water in these cards. I'm not sure if you were dealing with a, um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there could be some sort of fulfillment happening here between yourself and a water sign, but also air. You can see the shadow of Pegasus, okay? This beautiful horse that sprouted wings. Can you see him in the corner here? 
Um, it's very much a kind of mysticism, okay? So um, spirituality, mysticism is coming up with the soul journey here. Some of you are finding your way, okay? Um, the way will be illuminated for you. This is very exciting. I, I think there's major revelations, major things that will be revealed to you, Gemini, in the upcoming week. Um, so especially if you are dealing with a water and an air sign. Now, um, there's a lot of creativity that comes with this as well. So you might find that you're coming up um, to completing some sort of creative pursuit or endeavor because the nine is all about, you know, completion. You're almost at the end of a cycle. Um, you're reviewing something, um, maybe something creative. Uh, you're reviewing a relationship. If you are ending some sort of relationship, if you've asked yourself the major questions here and this person can't give you an answer or this person cannot fulfill you in the way you want to be fulfilled, it's time to make you know, it's it's time to um, create a new path or journey, a new path, he Geminis. Look, it's exciting. It's scary. It can be. But it's also exciting. I think you've got something absolutely magnificent ahead. And this week is like a, a major turning point for you in your life, uh, in your soul journey. Um, but it's very much, um, okay, it's internal. I feel like it's an inward revolution of some kind that will lead you on your path. But it'll, it'll lead you higher. Okay, you're asking the big questions here because you want to go higher. You want to aim for the top. You're a high achiever. You want the best kind of relationship. You want the love. You want devotion. You want the prestige. Whatever it is that you're after, this is what you're seeking. And this is what you're following here. But it's going to start with you and your internal thoughts and visions. Wow, this is powerful, Gemini. You also have awakening. This is very symbolic of you feeling alive okay feeling excited feeling like you have new goals feeling like you have something to look forward to feeling hope feeling magic the number two is all about duality so it, it can be around relationships the yin and the yang energy um, partnerships business collaborations friendships marriages um, conflict opposition um, a counterpart um, it's almost like you're coming to your senses. Now, some of you might be coming to your senses in regards to a love relationship. There's a lot of major questions that might be asked in the connection, um, in this relationship or in a business sense or in a friendship. And suddenly you're coming to your senses here because awakening is all about understanding something, being fully enlightened waking up from a slumber or creating new goals, new things that you'd like to achieve. Some of you might have been, I feel like some of you that might have been somewhat lost, you know, if you've been asking yourself lately what, what your purpose here is, what this purpose of the connection is, why have I gotten to the point where I am in now? If you're asking yourself these somewhat deep and, um, plaguing questions I almost feel like you're, this is coming to an end so if you have felt like a bit of a leaf in the wind lately Gemini I do feel you've got an auspicious week in the sense where suddenly you've got a sense of direction um, you've got more control because awakening is awakening from the slumber or if you have felt disoriented or you haven't felt invested in a connection or someone hasn't felt um, that you've been invested in them maybe so the roles could be reversed of course if that's been happening around you, I feel there's an, there's an awakening. Um, the two is all about seeing the light, but also seeing the dark. Okay. And a light seems to, seems to, um, to illuminate this card against that somewhat dark brown, um, background here. So it's really finding the light. So if you have felt like you've been in darkness, okay, if you haven't felt like you've had the knowledge or you've felt you've been left in the dark about something or you haven't had clarity and you've been racking your brain trying to think about what the purpose is or the meaning is of something here, um, there's a change coming. There's inspiration. There's light. You know, this divine light is around you. Um, a divine light will light your way and suddenly illuminate the new journey you have to go on. If there's endings you have to encounter, so be it, because that's the only way you're going to welcome in potentially new partnerships, 
um, a new outlook on life and new perceptions and pose bigger and better questions to yourself in the future so amazing very um spiritual week for you gems so i hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave behind a like thanks for watching and we'll be in touch next week bye gems <laughs>